What's going on guys? Welcome to Programming Wannabes. How are you guys doing? Are you doing fine during this pandemic COVID-19? So please stay at home and keep yourself safe. Today's video is a new episode for my new playlist or new content to my channel because today I want to show you how you can customize your WooCommerce uh, website without using any paid plugin by using your programming skills you can achieve what you want without spending any dollar to the company that make a plugin for this episode I would like to show you how you can add the custom field to the registration form as you can see, if you install WooCommerce, you will only have the email address, which does not make any sense because you might need to ask the customer to put additional uh, fill to this registration form, like a phone number, a street address, or maybe yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe the nickname, a first name, a last name. So you can need you need to have the custom fill here to make your customer key in uh, the first detail or the main detail before they start to creating an account. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, before I start on my tutorial for you in order to make the custom field appear on the registration form, I would like to say that this development is developed in the local uh, local WordPress installation using a XAMPP. Uh, I would recommend you to install the WordPress in your local computer before you start to push the code into the live server because if you code everything on the live server it will ruin your uh, website or your customer that visit your website so if you want to know how to install the WordPress in your local PC you might check out the Google or maybe you can search another tutorial video that teach you how you can install your WordPress locally without further ado let's get into it so if you have installed your uh, local WordPress you open you using your any kind of IDE for this a tutorial I would like to use a VS code because VS code for me is a very very powerful IDE uh, that I haven't used before uh, so if you open this folder of your WordPress uh, content or WordPress uh, local you can see this kind of file structure uh, on my left hand side so to write the plugin uh, what you need to do is you need to go to WP content all right and inside this you can see the plugin folder and here you can see the list of the installed plugin uh, that you have alright so to create a new what you need to do is you need to create a new folder and name uh, your plugin so let's say a uh, registration uh, custom field alright so after you put your file, uh, file here you need to create your um, code uh, folder I mean, after you create a folder you need to create a file sorry about that so your file will be index.php so after you create that thing here is where your code will be going to be all right right starting off by uh, writing the php tag there and before you start writing any code here, you need to make sure that you uh, let the WordPress know that this code is for plugin. So how are you going to do that? To do that, you need to use the header requirement provided by WordPress. So just Google WordPress header requirement and we will land you to this page. Alright, so before you start doing anything, you need to put, you need to copy this uh, PHP header requirement. Copy this. Alright, and paste it into your code. Alright, you might need all the thing, but uh, just put. I think that just this thing also can. Alright, uh, not this one. So name your plugin as uh, custom registration field. Let's say, and then description. Maybe you can put anything here. Let's say uh, custom field for registration uh, sorry registration form and name your version let's say 1.0 right you can put uh, all the uh, attribute here but I just want to put this three is enough for you uh, right so after you save this file what happened is if you go to the back end of your uh, WordPress website you can see uh, your plugin have been registered by click on the plugin and install it plugin 
you can see that the custom registration field which is you just write just now so click on activate and then you're ready to go so after you reactivate your plugin you can start writing your own code here the first thing you want to make here is you need to add uh, the front end of a uh, custom field all right so I would like to put a first name and last name for our registration custom field before you start to writing your own function you need to declare the action function that provide from WordPress uh, there is a lot of action uh, function like a add filter add action but today uh, we will use the add action uh, function when you use the add action function you need to uh, fill in three parameter I think three parameter the first one is going to be uh, the hook where this function will be hook which, which page uh, or which um, action when you trigger something on the website will be run all right so actually there is a two ways you can write the plugin the first one is using a short code the second one is directly hook that uh, function to any action occur in the WordPress or WooCommerce if you want to take a look on the various type of a hook you can go to the WooCommerce doc and there is a lot of a hook that provided here since we want to put um, the front end custom field on our registration page the hook that use is uh, called um, this thing WooCommerce register form start so here is the hook so when you click uh, when you load the registration page the function will be run all right for the next parameter you need to put your uh, what we call this your oh, sorry about that uh, the next function you need to put is your function name so let's say um, front end front end oh, sorry front end uh, field all right this is your function name so after you declare the add action you can start your own code you start writing your own code function so just copy this thing uh, paste it here put a uh, bracket and of course uh, you need to put your curly braces here so here is your to-do um, code all right so in order to make your uh, custom field you can uh, search on internet of a very type of the input HTML tag you can put so for this tutorial I will show you mine uh, I don't want to type because my typing speed is so bad so here is a pre-made function that I make a uh, pre-made uh, HTML layout that I make so basically what I do is I just put the p tag and of course the label and the input the input is going to be text and the name is a bilingual first name and uh, following by the bilingual last name so this two is the front end uh, input field so after we put this thing uh, let's try to see our uh, page let's refresh it you can see these two uh, new column uh, I mean new field have been put in here so great job after we have this thing you need to put a validation all right we're going to write the code for validating 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 the input from field all right because we don't want to mm, ignore the validation let's say we want to make the first name and the last name is a required so you need to write this code to do that just copy this first all right the hook first and we need to hook this something in this uh, function all right uh, from the WooCommerce documentation the hook that used to send uh, the registration form is a WooCommerce register force and change this to your um, function name for validate uh, input let's say and then the next thing is you need to declare how many parameter that this one will passing so in this case I'll just put 3 and the priority is 10 alright I just ignore the last one just focus on this thing why we need to declare 3 because if you make a valid validation function after the function is running they will pass something right to say that this input is uh, correct or this input is wrong you need to pass something so just 
write down your function and copy this name paste it here and uh, put it here right there is a three parameter that you need to pass within this function which is the uh, username emails and also the validation uh, error right so you just paste it there right so when you pass these two things uh, this function will get the username of the account and the email of the account and then after that we will return an error if the field have been ignored right so since we have two custom field we need to make a validation if you're familiar with php they use is set function to know if the post value is empty or not so just put it here so let's say if is set by link form name is empty it will return an error all right um yeah this one is a php function all right so what happened when you click uh submit button uh, there is a action that we call post and then the post is from this name all right the binding first name and then after before you proceed to the next process of the website you need to make a checking so if the if the binding name or the uh, or, or, or the binding first name is empty uh it will error because yeah the first name we need to make it required right unless you don't want to make it required just ignore this validation okay so next thing is the same thing which is a uh, the second one dividing last name All right just put it here for binding last name and then of course we need to return uh, the validation error the string all right validation errors there that's all all right so let's run our website again let's click refresh okay let's say I just put um, the email let's say ABC at uh, sorry ABC at ABC.com they say and then when you click submit or register the error will be triggered see the error is the first name is required because it detect your first name doesn't feel anything so let's say we put there put register again yeah this next error is the last name required until you put the last name okay so the validation work fine let's go for the step 3 which is the save data if you log into your the php my admin for your wordpress database there is a table that called uh, user meta right here so all the data are related to the user registration or user account will be stored in here by using the user id meta key and meta value the user id is a foreign key of the users table the meta key is a key or uh, the attribute of the uh, field or data and the meta value is the value of the column or i call i call that a value of the key all right so if you are uh, experienced in mind sql everything you want to make a retrieve, retrieve or send data throughout the database you need to put the sql command which is insert into update into delete into this table where the id is something like that by using wordpress you don't need to put your own query because for user meta we can use uh we'll call that the update underscore user underscore meta function that provide by the wordpress so before that let us to uh make a comment here and say, say save data all right and put an action again all right and uh we don't need any parameter because we're just saving this and uh yeah for the hook uh, we will use uh this hook woocommerce created customer all right so this hook is running when uh, after we put after you click the register this uh, hook will be running and then name our function let's say save the data all right that's all and then uh, start to create your function save data and then we're going to uh, validate i mean we're going to put this is set uh, value uh, the is set condition here right for the first name and uh, yeah i forgot sorry about that if you want to save data of course we need to have an id so we need to put one here as our parameter so uh, customer id right and then here is how we can save uh, the data so if we check if there's something on the first binding name we will update the user meta table 
uh, by key the first name and the binding last name what is the first name and the last name of a binding they have a this these two um, meta key have a little bit different the first name is for a uh, data that hold the user account name while the binding first name is for uh, the checkout form name so just put in two and then how to use this thing actually use update user meta uh, will be um, help you to run to update or insert the data inside the user meta table so that's why we use update we have uh, update add and delete user meta so for this case we want to update user meta and then the first uh, parameter is a customer id when we run this function this automatically get the id of the customer and then uh, the first name of the customer and then the value we sanitize the field uh, to make sure there is no additional character uh, that will uh, ruin this function and then same thing we need to put uh, our second condition which is the binding last name just copy this thing just put last name there oops sorry uh, last name there okay and change this into the last name uh, last name all right that's all set that's all set and uh, yeah let's try to register an account uh, there and let's try to register it is there an error I hope there is no error yeah we success all right um, so after you create that one where is this uh, custom field will be save and use actually if you try to uh, make a purchase of the uh, item right so a view card you can see we can check out here and you can see the first name and the last name of a binding uh, address a uh, binding form has been automatically populated here because we saved data in the beginning of this uh, registration all right so I think that's all for this tutorial. I you like it? If you want a video like this, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe for the newest content. If you have anything you want to ask, just put on the description below and I will answer as soon as possible. That's it guys. Tutorial for WooCommerce uh, custom registration field. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.